All right, welcome back to another Windows Wednesday. This is Total OS Today, Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. Hope everyone is doing well. I was planning on going swimming, uh, but today's been, well, wet Wednesday here in Ohio. I don't like it. So I'm stuck in the house chatting with you guys. I'm so lucky. Oh, you guys know I like to do this. So anyway, let's chat for this Windows Wednesday. What's on your mind about Windows? And I have a question for you guys and gals. Or have you had enough of Windows 10? Are you switching to Linux? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I haven't completely switched. I guess you can say I've switched to dual booting. That is my switch, but I can't completely get rid of Windows. Not yet. Maybe one day. Maybe. Maybe, but not today. Hello, Farron. How are you? Jeff says, do Windows users show up here on Wednesdays? Sometimes that is true. Yes, they do. I don't do these every Wednesday. I just happen to be available now because the weather kind of sucks. But yeah, um, if you are a Windows user, uh, this is for you. Please do stop by um, and say hello. Uh, or maybe you tried switching to Linux and you thought Linux just sucked. That's okay. Just, just be honest. Please don't be shy. Everyone is welcome. This is a open forum, family friendly uh, for all users of technology. Uh, keep in mind, I still use Windows. If you tried using Linux and it sucked for you, I get it. But just explain why. Hello, Ray. Ray says he switched eight years ago and learned the value of backing up your work. Your work. Oh yeah. When the Vista machine died and took away 85 page honor thesis. Ouch. Ouch. Hi, David. Heather is in the house. Yeah, you know, I should, I keep forgetting, but I should start every live show. Hello and welcome back to Total OS Today Live. Have you backed up yet and backed up again? Don't forget, do it now. Leave the stream and do it now. Oh, I think we've all learned a lesson, Ray, about backing up no matter what you use. Uh, it really doesn't matter, does it? Windows, Linux, you know, Mac, Chrome. It really doesn't, does it? Once you forget to back up and all your data goes, you know, into the twilight zone, it's too late. Yeah. Anything can happen to any operating system. I mean, it, it could be something as simple as a, you know, a lightning storm and your computer gets fried. Now what? Right? At least that's how I see it. Hi, Terry. How are you? Welcome to a Windows Wednesday. So yes, uh, my question to anybody out there watching and listening um, for this Windows Wednesday, do you not care for Windows 10 anymore? Are you switching to Linux? Have you tried? Came back in spite of you know the privacy issues in Windows 10? Let us know. Share your experiences. Hi, Kyrie. You switched five years ago. Very good. Google Docs uh, saves as you go. Okay. And similar cloud systems, I would imagine. Heather is at McDonald's. Here we go with the food again. That's okay. I just had my dinner. <laughs> so I'm good, Heather. Yes. I'm going to guess Heather is having a, 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 a Big Mac with large fries and a Diet Coke. That's my guess, but I don't know. Steven's having a good afternoon with no notification. Okay, well, I wish I could fix that, but I can't. Honestly, I can't. The only way for me to fix it is to have a, a set schedule five days a week, so you guys, or four days a week, whatever, a set schedule so you know, you guys know exactly when I stream. And if the day comes I can do this full time, I'll be happy to do that, but I'm not there yet. Heather says, I hate Windows and never will go back. Okay, Heather, now you have to explain why do you hate Windows and why will you never go back? Was it one thing? Was it a couple of things? Was it because of Windows 10 or Windows in general? Uh, was it because of malware or 
that there has to be something that triggered you triggered you to say you know what I'm done with Windows and why was it before I forget uh, I will be hosting uh, what I believe to be a special live event social media and cyber bullying uh, I was asked to do that uh, some time ago and I'm, I'm debating should I do it publicly or privately for all the supporters of the channel like on Patreon and PayPal do it privately first and then post it publicly I'm kind of waffling back and forth I'm not sure how to do it maybe you guys can give me some ideas uh, let's see Farron says new in Windows 10 off actually useful advertisement in Softpedia for Windows Windows 10 is learning from its own mistakes oh okay ah Heather says I was close double quarter pounder meal okay so David stopped dual booting three years ago Windows is history for you you, you needed Glary utilities wise 365 Windows to clean and defrag files you don't really need that anymore uh, Glary utilities is fine Wise 365 is fine. I use the built-in Windows to a tool to clean, and I use OsLogix to defrag. That's it. I mean, it's 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 not as much work as it used to be. It seems, David, to keep uh, Windows 10 cleaned and tuned up. Um, from what I've seen, I still don't like the updating process. It takes forever. And I don't know if it's going to be one reboot. I don't know if it's going to be 10 reboots. Will it take 30 minutes? Will it take a whole day? You know, it's completely different with Linux. It doesn't take that long normally to do any update. Hi, Switch! Well, we have one person who is, has switched to Linux and that switched to Linux. Although I, I think he uses Windows too. What's up, Switch? Greetings. Yeah, I, I've switched to dual booting. That's as far as I can go with, with what I do. I can't completely dump you know, Windows yet. I just can't. Uh, too many inconsistencies with multimedia apps still. You know, graphics drivers and all that. So, um, Kyrie says you use one program to clean Linux bleach bit. I use that too. That's very good. Last Windows Personal Machines was 2003. Keep using it until it worked until 2008. Okay, all right, cool, cool. Switch is making a thumbnail for tonight. Yeah, I really wanted to, to get in some swimming, but it's been raining off and on all day, Switch, and the weather's been crappy, and I'm kind of ticked. So I figure, well, it is Windows Wednesday, so. I figure I'll do this now versus later for Windows Wednesday. Once again, anybody watching, please let us know if you have switched to Linux or vice versa. Let us know. Windows Store has a lot of good free games and apps. Uh, I haven't checked it lately, but it seems okay. Yeah. Windows 10 is now getting ads. Uh, I know that. Uh, major security hole for custom. Jeez, it seems like there's always security holes out there for something, Farron. I know. I know. What are you gonna do? Stay vigilant. Keep your machines clean no matter what you use. Nothing is 100% safe. So, yeah. Let me go ahead and transition here. There we go. We'll take a look at the ticker. Microsoft teases the first ever stream to win option built in Xbox. I have no idea what that is, but it sounds like it might be appealing. Windows 10 is more like a phone. Long install, long <laughs> updates. Have to keep on cleaning and defragging. Have to activate it. Can't customize. Hmm. Well, the updates, again, I don't care. The cleaning process isn't all that bad, yeah. And that's right, you don't have many options to customize built-in tools. Sudo reboot. Good evening, Sudo, how are you? 
What is happening in your corner of the world, Sudo? Sudo, do you use Windows? Do you dual boot? Do you know what Windows is? <laughs> I actually didn't uh, run Windows this week or yesterday to do the updates. Uh, I'll have to do it this week. If I wait more than two weeks, that's when I notice it takes a long, long time for the updates to install. I don't like that. Firefox 61 makes switching tabs faster on Linux. Well, how nice. Modest update. Okay. Sudo, are you still doing videos? Are you back? Ah, World Cup fans. How to check World Cup scores from the Ubuntu desktop. Hmm, interesting. Is this some kind of an app? I don't know. Shotwell 02903 released with face recognition feature. Interesting. Linux is faster, Heather, generally speaking. Yes, you can do more. Yes, it has a good community. You know, we, we, we probably shouldn't you know, knock the other community. And I really haven't done a Windows community live event. I probably should just to get the feel for it. Um, you know, yeah, I probably should. Maybe the next Windows Wednesday, I'll have a Windows community special. Sudo says, don't run Windows. Left that ages ago. Oh, well, I didn't know, didn't know. Linux doesn't slow down. Uh, usually, usually. Although a couple summers ago I tried Manjaro, it, it did slow down over time. Don't know what happened, so I don't use it anymore. Play new music from the YouTube audio library. And there's actually a song called Forget About It. I couldn't believe it. All these times I said, hey, forget about it. Use Linux. There's a song called Forget So I had to download it. It's from the YouTube audio library artist Dan Lebowitz. These are some of his songs, so check it out. It's free from the YouTube audio library. How cool is that? Do do do. Do 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 do. Hector Rivera, welcome, Hector. You hate Windows, but some programs that I use for radio automation not available for Mac or Linux. Yes, Hector, that still continues to be a number one problem. Well, I think a number one problem with Linux, generally speaking, is multimedia applications. Um, uh, what specific programs do you use, Hector, for Windows? Just out of curiosity. The booze doesn't work with all Windows apps. The booze? Are we talking beer or wine? <laughs> oh, this is nice. Swan Home Security camera sends video to wrong user. Oops. Mine, of course. <laughs> Google Home speakers complain of glitch. Hmm. Technical issues. Of, oh, well, I don't you have the Google. I use my Alexa and I'm happy. Ticketmaster admits personal data stolen in hack attack. Is that surprising? It's the year to hack. Steve, when you notice installing Windows on your laptop takes a whole lot longer. You think it's a 5400 RPM drive compared to 7200 RPM of SSD? Uh, could be. It just takes longer in general with Windows. Yeah. 
by nature of its well, nature of its construction. Ah, Hector, radio DJ. Very good. Very good. Hello, Lamer. How are you? Um, checking out a few things for the Windows Wednesday. Seven utilities to make your Windows PC more powerful. Um, let's see. Windows 10 apps tabs may not arrive in the next big OS update. No big deal for me. Uh, this is important. Windows 10 security page. Settings page may contain large security hole. Is Windows 10 update breaking Google Chrome? I don't know. I haven't noticed it. Let's take a look at this um, test utilities here. Lamer, you're at a nice hotel. And your dad yells at you for being a redneck? Oh. Oh, what did you do? So this is from TheVerge.com for uh, Windows PC Utilities. Uh, let's take a quick look here. Ear Trumpet. A free system tray utility that gives you volume levels for every app and lets you set custom inputs and outputs. Uh, they say it's a must install. I don't know. Groupie. You know how tabs on your browser are useful. Groupie lets you take any app you have open and make it tab into another app. Nah. Share X. Uh, let's see, screenshots, a lot more customizable and powerful. It's also a lot less elegant. Well, let's skip that. Uh, Hector says you had to reinstall Windows because the sound card's line in wasn't working after the spring. You know, I haven't had any issues with the updates. Maybe I've just been lucky, Hector, yeah. Anyway, ditto. Uh, good clipboard history tool, nah. Wax. Wa wax. <laughs> wax. One of those launch bar search bra bra boxes you bring up with the keystroke. Uh, yeah, maybe I might use that. Sharp keys. A little, little, little utility that makes, you, makes it easy to remap keys. Nah, I won't use that. Quick look. It's a little thing that lets you quickly preview files and, and file exposure. Lore. Uh, about the only thing I might use here was maybe Wox. Maybe. I don't know. What do you guys think? Yes, Steven, in Windows, you don't have to worry about compatibility. That is true. That is true. Where's Tim? Uh, I don't think he's going to be available till tonight, Heather. Uh, I don't think I'll be on tonight, but that's where he's at. Lamer's got an ocean view of KDE with the porch. <laughs> you had wet swimming sh shirts with a Total OS Today shirts. Put them on the rails to dry. <laughs> uh, let's not forget pseudo reboot. Anyway. Just out of curiosity, let's do a search. Do Windows, see what comes up. The Windows users switch, switch to Linux. Just thought I'd pop it in there, see what pops up. A few articles. And there you have a Destination Linux t-shirt. Very good. Yeah, I should promote my t-shirts more. I keep forgetting. Uh, so much on my mind. But, um, 
I think they're manufactured by Hanes, if I am not mistaken. Shorts and shirt. Okay. Well, I don't have a total OS today. Short. <laughs> uh, why can't Windows users switch to Linux? Okay. Let's give it a shot. See what pops up. Linux cannot run Windows software, therefore no win games. Okay, uh, you should have a basic knowledge of the kernel, shell, and distribution. Well, you need to have a basic knowledge of the distribution. I don't think the kernel and shell is that important. Uh, you should be comfortable with the command line interface terminal. Not in the beginning. Linux is not completely GUI based like Windows. Some Linux is, yeah. Uh, you should have basic knowledge of the various package managers, I agree. It is difficult to work on Linux, some Linux. It is open source, therefore everything is able f everything available for free, just need a lot of knowledge to get it done, eh, some. Uh, in Linux, as root, it gives you any permission to modify and delete any file. Causing it to break or crash. Yeah, but you really wouldn't mess with that. To fix any error in Linux, you have to go through a lot of commands, edit files. Eh, sometimes. I don't know. Some of these are like a hit and miss. Hello, Ronald. Welcome. Hector, you tried it a few years ago and it was okay and simple. Okay, cool. Hello, Ronald. What's up? Uh, 10 reasons why you should switch. Let's take a look. It's free. Okay. More secure. Okay. Compatible with lower end hardware. Uh, yeah, I would say that's true. Ease of use, this is partially true. I wouldn't call Arch, Gentoo, or Slackware ease of use. So this is, this is only partially true. I wouldn't have this in there. I would have this either there. Some of it is, is easy to use. Drivers included, again, this is partially true. Graphic drivers can be a mess. So, again, I would not have that in there. <laughs> it's sexy and I know it. Uh, okay. Fine, I'll give you that. I don't want to go there. Let's go back. Software repository. Uh, most of the desktop Linux OS have their own app store software. Okay, all right, I'll, I'll give it that. Better updating process. Absolutely. See, this should be number one. This should be the number one reason right now. Gaming on Linux, that's the reason to switch from Windows? This guy is drunk. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. You gotta take this out, dude. This is, you just, you just, yeah. It's getting better, but no, 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 no. Take that out, okay, this exit out. Community support, well, that depends. Some people think that the Linux community is toxic and it stinks. So this is also a question mark. I don't know, what do you guys think? But this is not a reason to switch from Windows to gaming. Absolutely not, that's just silly. This, this is also a question mark, so. But that's my opinion. What do you guys think? Peppermint Linux users do not need the terminal. We don't know, David. Sometimes something may break, and yeah. Uh, setting up repositories problem for new users. It can be, yes. Absolutely. Let's see what popular science has to say. It's free and open source. Similarly available software, that's only partially true. Protection against malware, okay. The operating system requires fewer hardware resources, some of them. Mm -hmm. 
uh, getting started. Okay, well, this article is alright. Dark side of Microsoft. Switch. Uh, let's see here. 15 pros and cons of Linux. Have you used Time Shift and System Back, David? I have not. Mr. Linux himself, Linus Torvalds. The pros of Linux. It is very easy to install. Again, this is see. This is where I. I this is where it drives me nuts. Some Linux is easy to install. You know, it's, see, see, this is why Windows users read this and it's like, wait a minute, all of Linux is easy to install. It's not true. Hi, Rose. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Giuseppe Spagnolo. Giuseppe, you must be Italian. You switched to Linux today? Wow. No more dual boot refurbished Dell around $400 Ubuntu certified hardware. Nice. Now, see, that's the key. Ubuntu certified hardware, no driver stress, no issues. But see, but but see, Giuseppe. First of all, welcome. You are new to the chat. If you are, everybody, please say hello to Giuseppe. Come on, I'm waiting, everybody. Now, here's the thing, Giuseppe. I, I talked about. We talked about this last week on the live event. A $400 machine for Linux seems to be the sweet spot, and because it is certified. You're right, you won't have any graphics driver issues or any issues. That's, but it's not free. That's, that's also the, the second key. It's not free. You have to pay for it. And $400 is, in my opinion, the sweet spot. So good for you, Giuseppe. Is it fa I mean, is Ubuntu fast enough? I'm just curious. Rose has switched, okay. <laughs> ben agrees Microsoft is equal. Evil. You will be assimilated. We are the Microsoft Borg. Uh, a lot easier than installing Windows, but Windows users don't install. No, because they buy their machines. David says, when you buy your next computer, check out Dell's refurbished. I may have to do that. Uh, yeah, I may have to check that out when I'm ready. Uh, Jeff Pearson, again, $300 Ubuntu certified hard. Again, yeah, that, that, between the 3 and $400 is a sweet spot. Yes, please, everybody say hello to Giuseppe. Giuseppe, and I know you're Italian, right? Calabrese, Siciliano, Bruzzese. We're doing fine, Silent Reboot. Um, so as far as installing, it's very easy. Some, not all of it. This is this is partially true. Uh, if you have a bit of developer in you and you know what you're doing to change Linux to suit you, okay, all right, all right, okay. <laughs> That's the evil worse than the Borg. You know what's funny, Rose? If Microsoft came up against the Borg, the Borg would say, we are the Borg, you will be a... Wait, you, you're Microsoft? Oh, forget about it, we're out of here, goodbye. <laughs> uh, well, Ben, some of it is, is easier. Not, not the whole Linux universe, obviously. Yeah, that, that's not completely accurate, but some of it, sure. Like Peppermint OS is easy, Linux Mint is easy. Arch, Gen 2 Slackware? I don't think so. AJ is in the house. You're a little late, but there's still time left in the show. All right, so the pros of Linux, uh, it's free. You don't have to pay for it. That's true, usually. You can distribute your own changes. Uh-huh. It is known for being a more stable and secure. Well, stable is relative. 
<laughs> secure shore. It consumes very little resource. And again, this is not completely accurate. You're lying. Okay? Yeah, sure. Yeah, try Ubuntu with 300 megabytes of RAM and see what happens. So again, this is only partially true. It can run with Windows or inside of Windows. All right, okay. Very smart and powerful system that the depend that depends on the user. There are or alternatives for nearly any program uh, somewhat true there is community support for well there is community support for Windows so again that's this is not completely accurate the cons of Linux now, now this is where it okay here we go the pros of Linux it's very easy to install the cause of Linux, it isn't as user-friendly. <laughs> I think this guy was drunk. There is a dedicated tech support unless you're paying for it. If you are a gamer, you will still prefer Windows. Yes. Drivers don't really exist. There are workarounds. Okay. Wow, here's something. It's probably better used as a dual boot rather than a Windows replacement. <laughs> so even though Brian Lunduk said that Dual booters are schmucks. <laughs> well, no, it's better to have a spare machine. Even though I dual boot and I can recommend it, if I had, if I had a choice, a spare machine, absolutely. He was on Vegemite, yeah, his brain got fried. Uh, yeah. <laughs> not, not Linus, that's not who I was talking about, but yeah. The end conclusion, Linux is a superior system, depends what you're going to do. If it's for gaming, it is not superior, just not, at least not yet. Uh, for installing updates, for security, yes, I would say it is superior. I dual boot on the same drive, David. Of course, I back up everything first, so but that's strictly my choice. Yeah, keep it simpler. But that's uh, here's an article from Dark Duck from 2018. Let's see what he says. Advantages: open source. A Windows user is not going to really care about that. Security: they should care about that. Speed: uh huh, they should care about that. Good for programmers, especially programmers, aha. Uh -huh. Less data greedy system, fair enough. Relatively simple again. Now this is honestly relatively simple depending on which distro that you choose. Excellent support for drive, really? Like printers and graphics cards, excellent support? Again, they're not, this, this is why Windows users are saying forget about Linux, you know. This should be some excellent support for drivers. Wonderful user support system. Again, that depends if the community you went to was friendly or not. We have a nice community support system. So, there you go. Alright, disadvantage is difficult to master. Some of it. The console. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, lack of games. Okay, well... Part of it. Linux differs much from Windows. True. And those are his disadvantages. So there you go. So it looks like some of you have switched from Windows. Uh, some of you cannot, for valid reasons. Alexander, welcome! Hello! When Elementary Judo is coming out. 
Anybody mess with elementary? Don't see any news here for elementary Juno. Okay. <laughs> Rose. Don't ask me. I know nothing. I see nothing. Yes. Jeff says, switch from XP to Ubuntu, computing became easy street. Interesting. Okay. Well, Ubuntu is fairly easy to navigate through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hello, Daniel. Welcome. All right, Ronald, thank you for stopping by. Once again, if you're watching this and you are a Windows user, have you switched to Linux? Or you tried and you couldn't do it? Let us know. We have a new free BSD, something I will never use. New Tails. Alpine. Hmm. For Raspberry Pi. Chaos. Great name for a distro. Chaos. AB Linux. And some other news. Daniel got your... Okay, Daniel. Let us... Now you have to tell us on this Windows Wednesday. Did your Vegemite make you want to switch back to Windows? <laughs> I don't know. What did, you, what did you think of it? DistroTube tried it. And he says he was, it, it wasn't too bad. Giuseppe from Italia. Boot takes around 12 seconds. Wow. Giuseppe, my parents are from Calabria. Are you anywhere near Calabria? Nice. 1804. With some tweak, a mate welcome runs like a charm. Nice. Very good, Giuseppe. Really satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel has not opened it yet. Have have the ambulance start, uh, you know, standing by, Daniel, just in case. Just in case. Just kidding. I did take a look at Permit OS 9 yesterday. Very nice and fast. Very nice. Tuscany. I've got a story for you, Giuseppe. Giuseppe, are you familiar with uh, the museum on the on Ferramonti? Giuseppe, are you familiar with that? Hi, Kitson, 90, how are you? Alexander says, Fat Dog 64 Linux. I did not try it, no. Vegemite is only lethal high doses. Yes, tablespoon or more. Okay. <laughs> Q 
quick look at uh, the Windows 10 forums. Daniel, you got the jar of Vegemite. Okay. All right. Simple-looking forum website. Never heard of it, Giuseppe? Okay, well, the reason why I, I asked, my dad is retired. He lives in Calabria. And uh, there was a concentration camp in Tarsia, in Calabria. And uh, the concentration camp Ferramonte, it's an untold story, but that camp saved the lives of almost 4,000 Jews. It's, it's, it's an untold story. That my dad did a movie on he finished it up last year and from that time there was a catholic priest i believe from tuscany giuseppe a catholic priest from tuscany who never knew that he was jewish he was a forgotten child he was a hidden child of, of the holocaust and he never knew until the end that he was jewish even though he was raised a catholic and the movie tells his story so that's why i mentioned that the movie is called uh, La Croce e la Stella. Uh, if you look it up, there was some write-ups in some Italian newspapers, some blogs, um, uh, back in April. Somebody there is trying to get a distribution deal for it. But it's called La Croce e la Stella, The Cross and the Star. Lots of tutorials for Windows 10. Again, I have not used these forums, uh, but maybe I should try. Maybe I should join one of these and see how friendly they are. to 28 viewing and seven thumbs up yeah okay look i have do i have to start the, the pink cadillac again with the big trunk come on i just cleaned it of, of all those stains come on <laughs> heck, heck you pseudo <laughs> oh man if you would like to donate to the channel by the way check out the paypal link below thank you for all your support Uh, let's see here. Uh, Terry says for Windows switches, I think I'd give him Peppermint OS or Linux Mint. Okay, you prefer X17. All right, fair enough. Interceptor, how much is a Windows 10 license? Uh, is it 100 bucks? 99.99? Is it? Is is that what it is? I think I'm not sure. All right, so you install Daniel Peppermint 9 32-bit on old Dell Studio. It starts up slower than Windows 7. Wow. But overall performs faster. Okay, well, as long as it performs the way you want it to. Fair enough. Technology news. This is some old news. 2016. Hello, Analog. How are you? Ah, this is very old news. Okay.
Ubuntu 1804 startup slow. And my test machine, it's not too bad, David. It doesn't run as fast. I think in some ways Windows 10 runs a little faster, but anyway, normally 99 bucks DNA tech for a Windows 10 license. Okay, all right. Yes, the Pro is 199 Yes, thank you, Daniel. I think for most people, the home is fine. Especially, like, if you're going to dual boot like me, just go with the lowest price, you know, Windows and go from there. Yeah, you can pick up a key for Windows 10 for about 10 bucks, and all of its backdoors and malware that, that go with it, probably. Yeah, stay away from that. Is Microsoft Mobile OS still working or is it dead yet? I have no clue. David, you try Pop OS, Ubuntu, Kubuntu. They booted slower than Xenial. Ah, a $10 rat from DNA Tech. There you go. <laughs> Windows Pro lets you delay updates. Okay. Well, you shouldn't delay them too long, obviously, because of security patches. So that's that's good in a way, but yeah. Well, lots of forums for Windows, obviously. Yeah, you really cannot completely turn off telemetry, AJ, no matter what version you use, as far as I know. There is no master on-off switch as there is with Ubuntu, so that pretty much changes everything, Yeah, in my opinion, so yeah. All right, let's take a look at one more thing. I want to wrap this up soon. Let's see what else we have here on the news items. Samsung Galaxy Note 9 event, August 9th. Uh, let's see. Good afternoon, Keegan. How are you? Uh, not a lot of news today, at least, that catches my eye in technology. Google just rebranded its $100 billion advertising business because the desktop is dying. Ouch. Is it really? Um, let's, let's go up here. Firefox gets Spoot Beast from Mozilla Memory Tricks. Have I been pawned? Integrates with Firefox and one password to tell you when you've been pawned. Hmm, interesting.
Giuseppe was reading about the place and movie. Yeah, yeah, there was a private screening in April. Uh, it was approved by the Italian Jewish community and the Vatican. Fortunately, my dad has not been able to secure distribution rights yet, so... Yeah, that's really a pain in the you-know-what. We were all hoping that a deal would have been signed in April, but nothing yet. Such is the politics, I guess, Giuseppe. I have not tried Pure OS, no. All your clients run Windows. Okay, DNA Tech. Kagan is doing some food stuff, very good. Most new kids are using only cell phones. Uh, they're using a lot of cell phones, yeah. Let's take a look at this. AJ says you switched all your family members to Linux? Really? All of them? Haven't gotten a call in a long time. Because they didn't tell you that they had so much trouble they switched back to Windows so they don't have to call you. <laughs> I don't know. Well, that's good. I don't think the desktop is dying either, yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, Google's new Google App program allows companies to reach customers whenever they are online as people are moving away from the people are moving away from browsing the web on the desktop. I don't think so. I'm doing it right now. Hmm, interesting. You guys may want to take a look at this. All right, enough of that. Uh, let's see here. And yeah, nothing else really catches my eye, so. Enough of that. All right, we'll see what happens on the tick. I'm going to wrap this up probably in the next 10 minutes or so. If you are a new user to Linux or want to be, I recommend Ubuntu Mate, what I use now, Linux Mint, Linux Lite. You do have a lot more choices today than you did, say, 10 years ago. A lot more choices, so definitely check it out. Don't seem to hear much about Solus lately. I haven't heard anything. Analog, nothing about Solus lately. Nothing at all. Don't know. I'm not, not sure what's going on. Chris Samuel. Must be an app out there where you plug the adapter in and use your cell phone as the tower. Um, yeah, that's deal with uh, convergence. Ubuntu tried to do something like that years ago. It didn't work out. Yeah. Solus was a total disaster, Alexander. Oh. Mandrake, I remember. Yes, mm hmm Jeff, Ubuntu Mate has a magnificent welcome screen, actually. There it is. Linux Mint's new welcome screen is pretty nice also for Linux Mint 19.
Apple and Samsung end the patent fight after seven long years. Really? That's interesting. Huh. They reached a final settlement. Yes, they agree that everybody should just use Linux and not worry about patent fights. But a bum bum. Well, good for them. Good for them. Mate is the best, Chris. Uh, it is for me. I like it. Yeah. Yep. Yep, it just works. It is my Linux Gold standard. Don't know what's up with Solus, Terry. Yeah, don't know. Is Mate getting a little heavier, AJ? I uh, don't think so. Yeah, then they kissed and made up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Let's install each top. They, um... I guess they just got tired of fighting. What can I say? The blog has been abandoned, or it looks like it. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I am using 1.82 gigs of RAM, considering what I'm doing. Not too bad. Still lighter than Ubuntu. Well, I mean, it's fairly light, Terry. I mean, it's obviously not as light as, uh, you know, Lubuntu, Q4 OS, but it's fairly light. Com compared to Ubuntu in general, Ubuntu GNOME, it is light, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, generally speaking, this, this would probably use half of the RAM as standard Ubuntu, so it's lighter, so. I wouldn't place Ubuntu Mate in the heavy category, but you know, in the lighter category, so yeah. Everything is lighter than GNOME. <laughs> yeah, really. Yes, Daniel, right. GNOME uh, Mate is mm -hmm, was made to look on purpose like the old GNOME 2. Exactly. Betting Giant leaked. Bet Victor leaked a list of its own internal systems passwords. Oh, is that all? Jeez. <laughs> Step right up and get your passwords here. Step right up. Windows 10 is lighter than Ubuntu GNOME, Steven. That's an easy one. Google doubles down on Linux and open source. Okay, interesting. All right, five more minutes. So this is the last call for comments and I'm out of here. Why does GNOME 3 use over 1 gig worth of RAM? You know, it's just the way it's been designed uh, to, for the, I'm assuming, for, for the desktop search. That's my guess. Uh, I don't know exactly, David, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, you need 4 gigs. You really do. To make it run somewhat comfortably, so yeah. So, yeah, lots of free software out for Linux, sure. 
Yeah, Zubuntu is definitely lighter, yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, to be honest, I can't understand why people complaining about 500 megabytes of RAM when almost everyone has at least a gig. True, true. The the problem is Giuseppe with the Ubuntu GNOME. It's it, 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 you need four gigs, and that's half of your RAM to make it run comfortably. That's the problem. Yeah, 500 megabytes with Ubuntu. You know, um, Linux Lite. You know, machines that have two gigs of RAM or less. Yeah, if you have a lot of RAM, obviously it won't matter what you use. That's why I always say, if you're looking to pick up a spare machine to test Linux, I love ThinkPads, love them. Make sure it has 4 gigs of RAM and you can test anything you want. Yeah, David, Peppermint 08 is very light. Mm -hmm. Analog, time to eat. Very good. Have a good dinner. Pizza, you have 16 gigs of RAM. I'm, I'm leaning towards 16 gigs of RAM for my next machine. Thinking about it, I don't know. Pizza, you use Spock RAM? How, how logical. All right, I'm just about ready to wrap this up. So, if you have switched from Windows to Linux, I hope it's working out for you. If you tried and had to switch back, I understand. Yes, the price of DDR4 RAM, I don't know what's up. I know. Sudo is off to bed. Very good, Sudo. I the sun is coming out, so I may be off to go outside and have coffee with a friend later or something. Uh, Daniel has 16 gigabytes. Yeah, with 16 gigs, it should be fine with Virtual Box and all that stuff. Gaming, it should be fine. Yeah, I'm running this with six gigs, and it's perfectly fine. Da -da -da. Love this new music. So once again, the music is from the YouTube audio library. All right, I'm just about ready to wrap this up. Once again, I'm, I will be hosting a special live event, social media and cyberbullying. I'm thinking the following week, I'm debating, I'm debating if I should do it privately and post it on Patreon or and then post it publicly or just have a public event. Everybody can chime in. Uh, someone asked me to do it. Someone from Canada. So that should be an important one. Yeah. Um, more games. <laughs> Does anyone know what sudo means in Italian? Why don't you tell us? Giuseppe. Thank you, AJ. He says, great videos. Thank you. <laughs> I'm digging this new music. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. Okay. You want to tell us, Giuseppe? Sweat. Yes. Well, it's um, yeah, the verb sudare, sudo. <laughs> <laughs> sweat. So sweat. 
Sweat Linux. Phew. I was sweating this install, man. <laughs> good one. Do it live but have a good moderator on the chat. Yeah, I'll probably have Tim or Joe or switch to Linux or someone. <laughs> Poison says, well, sometimes I do sweat when I use sudo. <laughs> Pseudo Linux, sweat Linux. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, don't use that command, AJ. <laughs> yeah, I should do a next live stream. Okay, instead of sudo app, it's sweat app install. <laughs> People are gonna say, huh? Yeah, it's my Italian OS. Sweat OS. <laughs> Alright guys, I am done for the evening. Uh, have a good one. Uh, I don't know when I'll be on this weekend. Uh, just be on the lookout for that. And we will chat again. Thank you for over eight years of this technology channel. It's been a fun ride. Again, if you would like to support the channel, please check out the PayPal link below and help join our, join our community to make it a better one. Help shape the future. When you fill your pants, it's over. Yes, when you fill your pants with sweat, it's time for a Windows shower. But a bump bump. All right, I'm done. 